Diablo 3 is the most addicting and frustrating game I've ever played. It's a love-hate relationship. The gameplay is easy and satisfying, while on the other hand, the drop rate of items is, well, god-awful. Don't get me wrong, the game does give you lots of items, but 95% of them are absolutely useless. Or, they're for another character you are not using. Diablo 3 is a hack and slash action role playing video game developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. They're also known for World of Warcraft, Starcraft, Heroes of the Storm, and now Overwatch. Much like in Diablo and Diablo 2, the quality and attributes of equipment are randomized. In addition to base stats such as damage and attack speed for weapon or armor points on armor, higher quality items have additional properties such as extra damage, attribute bonuses, bonuses to critical hit chance, or sockets which allow items to be upgraded and customized by adding gems for various stat bonuses. Magic quality items have 1 to 3 random properties, rare quality items have 4 to 6 random properties, and legendary quality items typically have 6 to 8 properties with varying degrees of randomness. For example, the Mempo of Twilight, a legendary helm, always has a socket bonuses to element resistance, attack speed, and life. A bonus to either intelligence, dexterity, or strength, and one additionally random property. However, the magnitude of these bonuses varies from item to item. The plot is really simple. The game takes place in Sanctuary, the dark fantasy world of the Diablo series, 20 years after the events of Diablo 2. Cain and Leah are in Tristram Cathedral investigating ancient texts regarding an ominous prophecy. A mysterious star fallen from the sky strikes the cathedral, creating a deep crater into which Deckard Cain disappears. In the game, players choose one of six character classes, Barbarian, Crusader, Demon Hunter, Monk, Witch Doctor, or Wizard. Technically, there's only six characters in the game, but Blizzard just announced just recently that they're going to be adding another character, the seventh character, which will be the Necromancer. These characters are tasked with defeating the Lord of Terror Diablo, the endgame boss. Honestly, the campaign is what it is, mindless, tedious, and well, the characters are very boring. I don't like anyone in this campaign. I could give two shits about what's going on. I just want to go and slay enemies. That's the only purpose of the game. Now, granted, this isn't a game where it's story-driven. The backstory and the overall of the entire story and the lore behind Diablo is quite fascinating. The problem is the game doesn't put out. If you're interested in this game, I'd give it a chance. It's fun, it's mindless, it's tedious, and, you know, it, it's it's so much fun to slay enemies. I mean, it's just so satisfying. Now, let me get back to the point where it's not mindless. It's not mindless when you strategize your skills. I mean, I beat the campaign in less than four hours. Um, and then the whole point of playing the game is doing the rifts, doing bounties, working with other people to play griffs and defeat keyboardens, which are, I don't know, probably useless now. But what the game does, it gives us a reason to play it. What is that reason? I don't really know. I'm chasing the magic dragon here. But the game succeeds in keeping our attention. And that is why Diablo 3 is in my top 10 favorite games of all time. Quite boring when you're playing by yourself. Unless you really do enjoy that. Uh, I see a lot of people playing. I watch a lot of people play this game. And they're just clearing rifts as quick as they can by themselves. Uh, it, it's ridiculous how what these people can do. It, it is utterly insane how strong these people are and how many hours they put in. I, I can't even begin to describe how many hours I put in. Maybe two, three hundred tops? Well, you've got guys that have been playing this game since launch? Jesus Christ. But in the, you know, you're just going. You're just moving through and that's all you're doing. So, I mean, give it, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But if you really like hack and slash games, this is definitely a game to buy. And I think it's like $20 right now as of, you know, 2016. But definitely give this game a try. I fully recommend this awesome game. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.